want to thank many of you for being with us this whole time. And uh, here is Father Pacheco. Uh, if you don't know where you are, great. Then you found the right place. Uh, this is our eighth and final Wednesday night series of Ask a Priest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in your servants, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the perfection of your ways, in the truth of your virtues, in the communion of your mysteries. Overcome every hostile force by your spirit for the glory of the Father. Amen. My hope is always that I can offer one thing or something that, that is helpful, uh, uh, whether it's a talk or a homily, uh, or again, my own mind with, uh, with some type of an example. Now, growing up in a large family, one brother, three sisters, five of us, but also many uh, cousins, whenever there were games or board games, uh, there was always uh, a few of them where there was a missing piece, a missing piece, <laughs> either component to the game or uh, you're putting together a puzzle, something. Uh, with this parable, I can't help but think of that because when, when we read over uh, the gospel, when we pray over it, when we hear it at mass, uh, there, there are a couple, I would say certainly a couple things missing. One is obvious. Uh, the obvious missing piece is, is the, the bridegroom. He's delayed and we know he's missing. He's, he's late in coming. When we look at history, the, the Jewish customs, that would be something that was, that was not surprising. The bridegroom, uh, historians say, uh, he would purposely delay. He would delay for that surprise factor. Uh, he would anticipate people falling asleep. He'd want them to fall asleep so that there'd be this, oh, he's finally here. Regardless, the people, uh, the, the 10 virgins and the, the bridal party is what they're signifying. Also, each one of us, that's the other missing component. They, they should have known that the bridegroom was delayed and here they are falling asleep. It's this relationship with the Lord. It's this deep, profound love that is shared between us and God, God initiates it and we respond. And so when we, when we think of this image then, uh, that, the, that the Lord has chosen us, his deep love for us, and he asks for our response. And so if we, if we place ourselves there, so there's nobody missing, the missing character, if we think that, well, it, it's us. And hopefully we can place ourselves there. And the, um, it, so then the, the Steve, with what you led into, we have this next thing that's this very, very strange. It's, uh, okay, so the oil. Why can't they share the oil? Um, and what does the oil signify? Several different things. Um, and when we look at the church fathers, saints who comment on, on this parable, um, in general, what they say that the oil signifies is uh, our good works. So you could maybe hone that in even, even a bit more. It's a life of virtue. And when we think of uh, the life of virtue, hopefully we're striving for virtue, each one of us, and we, we seek to live out our faith, uh, not just in, in, in mind and in speech, but also in works, right? And one of my favorite quotes is so simple from one of the, really one of the greatest minds, Pope Benedict XVI, his uh, opening homily, uh, his inauguration homily, each, each of us is willed, each of us is loved, each of us is necessary. Pray for that. Or St. Bernadette Subaru, one of my very favorite saints. Uh, I will do everything for heaven, all things for heaven, my true home. Who, what the, saint was that? Yeah, St. Bernadette. Uh, yes, Did our lady, you say St. Bernadette Subaru? Uh, St. Bernadette Subaru, yeah. Like the car? <laughs> nah, I knew that was coming, Steve. That's why I, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I gave it a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We did it eight weeks of Ask a Priest in the Santa Rosa Diocese. I have begged, borrowed, and stolen every favor, every prayer request to find eight true servants of God across our diocese to share with us a little bit about scripture and just open up and hang out with us. Uh, 